We are live, guys. Welcome to Leftover Cake Chat Sunday morning. Good morning, Erin. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. So I am drinking out of my AdvoCare tumbler, and if anybody saw uh, Rachel live on our page earlier, you know why, uh, but we will get to that. So cheers. Oh. It even popped. <laughs> <laughs> that was hey. a pretty good. That was a pretty good intro. I'll um, share my cake while you're drinking. Oh. I have lemon cello wedding cake today. Oh, and it's so pretty. I want to see how pretty it is. Go a little higher. Your name's block it. Oh, that looks good. Oh my god, it's so sweet. I have. It's so good. I have a raspberry filling cake, vanilla, uh, vanilla cake, raspberry filling. That looks awesome. You know, I love that we're talking. So I might just have some fruit, right? I love that we're talking health and fitness, and we're eating cake and drinking champagne for breakfast. I mean, it's kind of our thing, right? <laughs> it's the balance. It's the balance. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Rachel was awesome. She has some great insight. Obviously, it's helped so many people prepare for their big day. I know she talked about um, a bridal party that she worked with where the whole bridal party got together and supported the bride and did Advocare together. That's super cool. That's the that's what I love about uh, the bridal retreat, you know, it's coming together with a group of people for the same outcome is to get healthy and actually enjoy the process. So that was cool. Yeah, I agree with that. I feel like, you know, anytime you go to do something that's different, something that's a little bit out of the norm, you're uncomfortable. So if you have people that you trust and you love around you that are pushing you, you have that tribe around you, whether it's your bridesmaids, your family, your coworkers, um, you know, your significant other, whoever it is to kind of push you, uh, it holds you accountable for it, and it really makes sure that you follow through. And that's, I mean, what we posted with um, AC's boot camp this week, um, that's what she does. She has a group of people, and they come in, and it's a small group of people. It's normally, you know, you see a lot of the same people, and they go through, and they push each other, and they, they help each other get stronger and healthier, and, and that's kind of the process of all of it. I mean, you know, Kristen, I know you've seen stories where people have, you know, bought wedding dresses that are three and four times smaller than normal. Like, that's a lot of stress to put yourself under. Good morning, Laura. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that whole buying a dress the wrong size because I've seen that go horribly wrong. Um, I just think, you know, buy a larger size and have it altered. You know, that's the best thing to do. But trying to, I actually had a bride that wanted a dress so bad and it was, um, it was a trunk show, you know, so if you buy it on spot, it's significantly yeah. less money. But they only had this one size available and she bought it and she about killed herself. She did it, God love her, but whew, that was a lot of pressure. Well, and it's stress. And as we've talked about every single week, there's so much stress that goes along with planning a wedding, whether it's decisions, whether it's family, whether it's trying to find the time to get it done. There's all these other things. And by not eating right, by not exercising, by starving yourself or whatever the case may be, that just adds to your stress. And when I'm sorry, but when I'm when I'm hungry, I get angry. So you don't want to be around me. <laughs> hungry. You get hangry. <laughs> I get hangry. Yeah, I get told all the time, go eat something. Um, <laughs> I hear that all the time. But I think it's just, you know, finding that group of people and, and making healthy choices. And really, if you start at the beginning of your wedding planning journey, you know, it's something that you can stick with. And it's, you know, this is a this decision of getting married is changing your life. Make decisions, positive decisions that go along with that, that are also going to make that impact. Right. 
And you can and you can do it as a couple, you know. I mean, um, get your groom on board too, you know. If you want to start doing a plan or a program together, you know, at least you're spending time together. Because I feel like when you're going through the wedding planning process, there's so much going on that you end up hardly seeing each other through all the planning. So make your workout, uh, you know, something that you can actually do together. And one of my favorite pictures, I, I think you posted this week, is the the bride on the treadmill. <laughs> um, you know, we talk to brides when they're actually working out. So it's super cool. Uh, that's, you know, part of the whole virtual planning. But we could actually talk to the bride and groom because one of us could talk to one and one could talk to the other. Yeah. No, and it's perfect. And, you know, we saw it too this week with Lisa Snowden's fitness. You know, we posted her video of her working out by the pool. That's what she does. She's a personal trainer. So she's able to do that at home. She's able to put those videos on, give you guys exercises. She can work with you individually. So finding people like that that can help you or give you tips of what you can do at home, it's not necessarily people is like, oh, I got to be healthy. Well, that's going to cost that much more money. No, it doesn't. It's depending on what you want to do. And I think Kristen, you know, I mean, even Rachel hit on it. She even said it in her video. She's like, tell me what your budget is and we can work with you. Um, weddings cost so much money and it's really just finding what's going to work best. Really, there's no excuses, you know get up and, and take a walk 10 minutes before you get in the shower. That's more than you did before. And that's going to help you. And that's actually going to help you relieve some stress. You get home from work and it's been a long day. Set the keys down, put your sneakers on, get out the door and just go do something for 10 minutes. You will actually feel so much better than even just like, not even just healthier, just mentally healthier too. Yeah, that's why I think, you know, yoga and meditation is so good for a bride. It gets them in a mindset, clears their head, and it actually makes, forces them to stop um, with no technology, <laughs> uh, which again, you know, everyone seems to be addicted to technology. There's even wedding apps now that I'm I'm refusing to take part in because I, the Pinterest thing, still my phone would blow up if I had all the pins at the bride's pin. Yeah, we had, Kristen, we had that one bride that was so into her routine. She got so into, this is my time in my day where the stress is just going to go away. She bought an exercise bike and she had it shipped directly to the hotel that she was staying at just so that way when she checked in, she had her bike it was outside. She had the view that she wanted and she could just work out. And that was her time. That was her stress relieving time. Um, oh, I she has the budget for that. We don't all have the budget for that. But I mean, that's just something, you know, when you have the ability to do that and when you get into a routine, it just goes to show how much better you feel, especially if you're going to go to those expense, right? Yeah, that was Tatum. She was hardcore. I mean, they had come down the week before. So she wanted to stay in her routine. And much like um, you said, Enrique says you get hangry. I remember Stu saying, if she doesn't have her Peloton, I'm not going to be able to deal with her. So she needs <laughs> to make this happen. I ended up with that bike. So it was a, it was a, kind of a blessing all around because she didn't need another one. She already had one at home. So that was pretty funny. But she that's, was that's hilarious. Well, I mean, I also want to remind people, you know, if you absolutely just like cut everything out or try to starve yourself, not only is the stress going to be an issue, but you're going to want to cut a little bit loose on your wedding. And if you're at your reception and you haven't eaten and you haven't, you know, taken care of your body, that glass or two of champagne it is going to go straight to your head and you are not going to feel good and you are not going to remember half of your reception. And if you saw that picture, the bride passed out, um, you know, on top of the cake, it was kind of a funny picture. If you saw that, we posted, I mean, guys, we've seen that. We've seen people go to the absolute extreme, not necessarily take care of themselves. And then their wedding is just gone. They don't even remember it. Yeah. We, that's not a good way to start things. Plus you get, 
so stressed out. I mean, literally, I remember Carmen having to like pin a back of a dress together because it wasn't the right size. And the girl almost passed out because number one, the dress was way too tight. She was super stressed out about it. And she had been drinking champagne right before after we say, don't do that. Going down the aisle, you're going to get the hiccups. So that was a, was a quad of things gone wrong at the last minute because of people eating or not eating correctly. Yeah. I was well, I think it during really the day of the wedding. You know, that's not going to make any difference on your dress the day of the wedding. Put something in your stomach before you, you know, start drinking champagne and drinking for the rest of the night. Yeah. Well, guys, everyone has goals, um, whether it's for their wedding or, you know, your daughter's wedding, whoever's wedding it is. Um, you know, you definitely have goals. You want to look your best, but you want to feel your best. So, you know, we're here to help um, all the individuals that we've posted this week, Rachel, AC, Lisa, uh, they're all here to help. Uh, we want to make sure it's as stress-free as possible that you guys are doing. And, you know, not even, not only just doing the wedding process, you know, stress-free, but also the rest of the journey. Um, and, and all of that starts with your health and how you're feeling, really. Yeah, it's true. All right, so kind of tip, drink, 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 Advocare. Oh, it's always backwards on TV. I always turn it the wrong way. <laughs> so Advocare does too. They have um, some energy um, drinks. I, that was love. Um, every morning when I get up, I have Spark. Um, this is my favorite. Uh, Enrique drinks the orange. So um, every morning Spark is a great energy drink. It's amino acid. Uh, you know, it's just wonderful stuff. So if you haven't tried it, try it. If you want some, you know, advice on what to eat, eating clean, Rachel can help with that. I can help with that. If you have an Advocare uh, distributor that you know, they can help too. So I think unless there's any questions on being healthy, we are going to, I, I want to recap guys. Um, it is the last day of the month, last day of March. We this month sponsored Paw a Dice Pet Rescue in Key West. We are hoping that we can assist some cute, adorable, loving, helpless little animals uh, get forever homes. So they recently got five new puppies that they need adoption. So if you guys, we posted those yesterday, I think on Instagram, uh, maybe on Facebook, I don't remember where it is. It's on one of the two. Um, check out Pod Ice Pet Rescue in Key West, guys. Foster a dog, adopt a dog, donate to help feed them, get their shots, get them spay and neutered, whatever you can do to help. Um, we are very thankful to all the organizations out there that assist with that. So Paw and Ice Pet Rescue, please look at that. We will be having another organization for April that we are also sponsoring, and we will post some information on that. But please, if you haven't, get on. They have an Amazon wish list. $5, guys, that helps out a lot, even if you can donate that. And I Anything that we say to Aaron that, um, you know, because they're not located near where the puppies are, we can help get them there. So if somebody's looking, somebody's watching us or following us and they're not in Key West, we definitely can help with that. It's something that they need help with. Absolutely. Transportation. We are absolutely willing to do that. We want to make sure that the dogs go to a good home and they're going to be loved forever. So if it takes us just assisting in that transportation, not a problem. We'll get it done. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, All right. happy Sunday. Well, happy Sunday. I'm going to have some more raspberry cake fruit for my breakfast. I'm going to drink my pink bubbly champagne. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, check out AC's boot camp, Lisa Snowden fitness, Rachel Witt with Advocare, and Kristen and I are always here to help, too. All right. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Bye.